And today, let's talk about maximize soldering potential. And that's all about keeping whatever your holder is from robbing heat from your wire. So some people use these alligator clips, which probably aren't too bad because they're hollow, if you will. But I've seen many other different ways of holding this, like with a needle nose and whatnot, which is actually a bad idea because it draws heat away from that connection. At the same time, I had a problem with a low power soldering iron wanting to do this heavy wire and doing bullet connectors on the ends of here. And if you guys are trying to do the same where you find that your soldering iron just isn't cutting it, you can do maybe a couple things to help yourself out. One, only hold your wire with something that is wood. That way you don't have any conductivity problem or anything that's cold touching that wire. Secondarily, if your connector that you're using is held with anything metallic, it is also drawing the temperature away from that solder joint. So if you can, hold it with wood, clamp it with wood, and you'll find out that almost immediately your solder connections work and work very well because you don't have to heat the other part that's holding the bullet connector or you don't have to heat that needle nose wrench that's holding the wire. It's no longer drawing heat from your connection. So now with simply five pieces of wood is all this is, two on either side, one up the middle and these two on top and bottom, you can easily make this. And if you run the holes close to the front, the half moons if you will, close to the front, you can really easily pick up anything just the same. So it's, it works pretty darn good. It'll tackle any wire you want to put in it because of how it closes. So it's in direct shear. And as long as you really lightly deburr or sand the super sharp edges off, you'll find this will work very well for you. And because it didn't take any real time to make and it certainly didn't cost you any money to make, it's something everybody can whip up in no time. All you need is one little tiny connector for a bolt and a, a nut, and it's done. You don't even have to have the O-ring, but that certainly helps. A rubber band is all you could use, too. You could just fold that rubber band over, depending upon what size you have, and it's all taken care of just the same. So for free, basically, you have a helping hand for soldering. Let me know what you guys think. Take care.